Hi, I'm Kristen Garlitz with APS EdTech, and I'm here today to talk about how to use Google Calendar to set up parent-teacher conference or student life conference appointment slots. Google Calendar can be a great tool to quickly and easily send out appointment slots to your parents and guardians. First, go to calendar.google.com and go to the date when you are going to do your student-led conferences or parent-teacher conferences. You can click anywhere on the day. I'm gonna set mine up for Monday and Tuesday, November 22nd and 23rd, and I'm gonna start my appointments at 8 a.m. You'll notice here at the top, you've got event, out of office, task, or appointment slot. Click on appointment slot. And then I like to look at more options so that I can see it as a full screen. First, go ahead and add a title. Then think about when you're going to run your conferences. You can pick the start of the school day or whenever your first appointment will be until the end of the school day or when your last appointment will be. You can um, choose how long your appointments will be. 30 minutes is the standard, but you can make it longer or shorter by clicking that button or typing the time in here. Um, I have a two-day conference set up, so I'm going to click Does Not Repeat and choose Custom. And then I only want it to repeat for Tuesday and then to never repeat after this. If you choose it this way, you'll have appointment slots from 8 to 3 on Monday and Tuesday, but it won't be past 3 p.m. on Monday. Um, if you just have a, a time here that starts on the 22nd and ends on the 23rd, you'll have appointment slots running through the middle of the night and nobody wants that. So now I've got Monday and Tuesday from eight to three and it's not going to repeat. Click done. Uh, most of you will probably want to use Google Meet for your um, conferences. So I'm just going to type that in here so parents know what to expect. I'm going to add some notes to the parents and guardians. You're going to need to include your Google Meet code. You can set up a separate calendar invite with a Meet code, or if you're using Google Classroom, you can use your Classroom Meet. So I'm just gonna to go to my Google Classroom. I'm gonna click here where it says Meet on the three dots, and then copy my link, go back to the calendar invite and add that to the notes. The other way to set up a calendar invite for parents so that you can turn off quick access is to just create a calendar event and then add your Google Meet conferencing here. Then if you click on the settings wheel, you can turn off quick access here. When you do that, the parents won't be able to enter the room without you present and without uh, you letting them in. So they won't enter when another parent is in the meeting first. Click save. Then you can copy this meet link information and post it to your parent teacher conferences appointment slots. And then that way parents will know um, the, what meet code to use. Now, quick note, uh, Google Calendar appointment slots only work with other Google accounts. So if your parents and guardians are using a different email source than Google, they will not be able to sign up for appointments. However, you could have your students sign up or tell your uh, parents and guardians to use their students account to sign up for that. As a bonus, if they use their students accounts, then the meet code that you put in here, they will all be able to access and you will not have to have them um, ask to be permitted into the Google Meet. Next thing you will do, you can also click save. I now see on my calendar that I have appointment slots from eight to three. That's what those big blocks mean. I can click on it and then go to the appointment page for this calendar. This page is what you are going to share with parents. So go ahead and copy this link, and then you're going to share that with your parents and guardians through email uh, or Google Classroom or however, however else you communicate with your parents and guardians. Then all you have to do is once your parent or guardian opens up that link that you send them for the appointment slots, they will click down here on the blue when it says next appointment slot available. And now they can see all of the appointment slots that are available and they can choose one that fits for them. When they click save, it will add it to their calendar. Then when they go to their Google calendar or their students Google calendar, if they're using their students uh, account, 
it will look like this and it will have the meet code saved down here and it will show the guests, the teacher and the parent account. It looks the same when logged in as a student. If using a student account, they will click on next available appointment slot after you share that calendar link with your um, students. Now I can see that that appointment slot has been taken and now I can sign up for a different appointment slot. So it really doesn't matter if you're sharing this with um, parent Google accounts or student Google accounts. The only important thing here is if they're not using a Google email address, they will have to use one to set up. And then they click save. So this is a great and easy way for parents and guardians to sign up for your appointments. What it looks like as a teacher is that now I can see when an appointment slot has been filled within the calendar with the name of the parent or guardian who has signed up for that spot or the name of the student who has signed up for that spot. After a parent or guardian has chosen an appointment slot for parent-teacher conferences, both you and the parent will get an email reminding them of the appointment. When they click on it, the same as when you click on it, they'll get the invite to the uh, conference and the Google Meet link will be listed below. That way you don't have to worry about um, remembering when your appointments are and the parents won't either. One last thing to note is that during parent-teacher conferences, if you wanna make sure that one parent doesn't enter before the previous parent is done, when you open up your Google Meet link, go ahead and go to the host controls and then turn off quick access. When quick access is turned off, um, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join. And this is a good idea to make sure that um, one parent has privacy before the next parent enters. Thank you so much. Uh, check out our EdTech channel for other quick tip videos and other training resources.